This is my presentation video for the image processing course. Hello, Professor Dubois. Hope you're enjoying this. Um, the project is called Unimodally Filtered Histogram Back Projection. What that means is typically you have a histogram and then you make a back projection. Now I have filtered it unimodally. And uh, hopefully the other details uh, crystallize from the presentation that I have just given. Okay, so uh, this is the demonstration. So on the left hand side we have the capture of the uh, web camera that I'm using. On the right hand side to your immediate, um, the immediate window that you see is the uh, HS and V histograms. Uh, they are uh, labeled in blue, green and red respectively. And uh, basically it's taking the image data in that little square and showing you the histogram. So as I pass my hand over it, you can clearly see three distinct peaks. And yes, they're all unimodal, which is what we expect when you have one color. So this is the principle that we want to uh, use to make good, uh, some good back projections. Now the um, unimodality is detected in my program through uh, the cumulative distribution function. So let me just move that to the side. So as you can see, when there's nothing in particular, there's um, when there's nothing in particular, there's no unimodality. But when we get the unimodal peaks, then you get one distinct step. So my program detects this step, and that's when the variable triggers saying whether or not it's unimodal. Now, in the left-hand corner, you should see two black squares. The, the rightmost black square is the unimodally filtered histogram and the leftmost square is just the regular HS histogram. Now the unimodally filtered um, differs with a little bit of morphological operations uh, and that's, that filtering is performed only when the unimodality of the left hand side is detected. Alright, now what this actually means in terms of the back projection. This is the back projection. It's taking the the square that's in the middle here, back projecting it. When there's color similarities, it uh, shapes appear of that same color. So when I put my hand in it, you can see that my uh, the, uh, my hand and my face get highlighted because they're of similar color. And on the right hand side, you can see the back projection with the filtered histogram. Obviously the hand is a little bit more filled in, there aren't so many holes and whatnot. So this is the result that I was hoping to achieve. I was hoping to achieve better back projections with unimodal filtering and I achieved that result. All right, so hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope it's clear to see that the filtered back projection does produce clearer hand shapes. All right, thank you.